Today, Caleb and I have arrived in Buchanan, Virginia, and we're gonna be doing the James River. Uh, and we're gonna be getting on the water about 8.30. Um, nice river in the, in the mountains. Something he hasn't got to do before, so gonna be a, a, a nice little time for him. But we're fixing to get ourselves set up. We got the uh, Wilderness Systems Aspire he's gonna be in. And then of course the dagger access that I'll be in. Um, we're fixing to get shuttled about 20, uh, 30 some miles up river. So we're gonna get our stuff packed and we're gonna get headed out. It should be a, a, a good, supposed to thunderstorm on us today. Mm -hmm. You think about uh, 11. Caleb says, seven. Caleb said it was set 11 to seven. We're gonna hope it's a lot less than that. Yeah. And then he said some tomorrow. So hopefully we'll dodge the weather. I do know that the hurricane Elsa is supposed to be coming through North Carolina into Virginia, but I think it's supposed to curve off east and miss us so i guess we'll find out how was the drive slept most of it yeah. <laughs> yeah he slept and I, I did the driving and stuff which is fine yeah he's liking the mountains he had the he had the camera out and getting a couple shots in the mountains and caleb and i have just been um dropped off here at um iron gate access i believe it is a nice little spot treacherous road to come down uh it felt kind of like a little bit of a slow roller coaster ride um, but nevertheless a nice rock beach to start mm -hmm. out on as we're sitting here trying to um, Get our stuff together in our boats. Everything is gonna go with plenty of room Caleb was like he said he's gonna be surprised if I get it all in there, but these boats are kind of a little bit uh, Got like a little illusion you can fit more in these boats than you think plus you got the front Storage room. So anyways, we're gonna pack up this stuff in our boat It'll probably takes another 10-15 minutes and then we're probably gonna head out and get on down the river. So we got some nice uh, clear water. I don't know if you can see that or not, but beautiful looking water. It's moving at a pretty nice little pace. So that's good. We won't have to paddle the whole time. Um, the guy showed us our campground, which I think is always nice that they do that and kind of showed us which site. We got upgraded to the glamping feature. Um, the site where we were gonna hang our hammocks, the trees just weren't gonna work for the type of uh, side by side hammocks we use. So luckily they had one left uh, site 13 that we get to use uh, for glamping so um, that was a close one did you want to say anything okay did you want to say I love you to anybody hi mom hi mom <laughs> So Caleb and I have just launched. He's on the other side of the river. Uh, the river's moving pretty slow right now uh, that we're on. And they said the water levels were down, <clears throat> which is no big deal. Uh, the air is probably a good 70 some degrees. It feels perfect. Honestly, I'm in kind of a long sleeve shirt as well. Mostly to kind of, um, for when the sun pokes out and I'll be able to or keep me from getting sunburned and stuff. But um, nice calm on the river right now. Mountains in the background. Um, Probably something Caleb's not ever ever seen before. You ever been on a river in the mountains? See the mountains? But uh, so he's enjoying that. So we got 11 miles to make. We did get upgraded to a glamp site. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know about Caleb. Looking forward to that. He's on his phone, like a good teenager should be. But we did get him some uh, get him some uh, water um, a waterproof ish case. So it'll be alright, but should be interesting on the rapids day. Since the water's low, we may have to pull through a couple of them. That's okay. But it gives us practice uh, picking some good lines. So we'll see how that goes. And then uh, we'll get you going on your first rapid on a river in the mountains. There you go. Here goes Caleb. There it was, rapid one. Rapid one is in the books. Good job keeping it straight, man. Good job missing that rock. Look at that mountain, bro. Oh, I wanna get a picture of that right now. You're probably good.
That is cold. What'd you think of that one? That was pretty fun. You like that? Kind of scary. I thought it was just... You did good, man. You did real good. I don't know if y'all can see this on camera, but at the base of this tree over here is like a, a hole that is like perfect for some kind of a rodent. Or we need the poo. Get some honey out of there. That's cool. That's awesome. I mean, it's definitely hollowed out deep enough in there. Something could take some shelter, probably is. Look at that water, look how crystal clear, man. Cold water, though. Good, Ray, the water is cold and I need a battery. Huh? It is nice. Yeah, we're enjoying it. Enjoying it for sure. Said the water was about 2.59. You know, they said it was pretty low and stuff, but so far we're doing all right. I did check the radar, and Elsa is south of us, and she is hooking east. Um, it doesn't look like any rain for us in the near future. Something might surprise us. You know how it is in these mountains. Look, it's a stove. A stove. No cold meals for us tonight, baby. Cooking tonight, baby. <laughs> Wow, did somebody just push that over the edge or something? Good gravy. That's that's an old timey one. I wonder if that's a wood stove. Like they used to make wood fires under it and it would just heat the top, I guess, or something? Yeah. Huh. Alright. Is that the tree of souls? On the James River? What? Look at that thing. The Tree of Souls. Wow. You see like some of the knobs look like heads upside down maybe and stuff. The knobs on it look like there's heads in there. That's why I call it the Tree of Souls. Caleb and I we are looking forward to maybe like a cold coke later this evening when we take out our, the campsite. It's right after a public bridge or a public um, boat ramp. And you can zip up that, head over to a little convenience store. So we, that's our plan. Unfortunately, I did leave my $20 bill in my truck. And um, so we don't have that. But I did bring my card. That was a win. Epic win. So enjoying it so far, sir? Oh, yeah. Caleb's been enjoying it. Look at that mountain, tree covered mountain right there, baby. Look at that beauty. So, Clayton and I are gonna, or no, not Clayton, Caleb. <laughs> Too many kids. But we're gonna float through this rapid. Caleb's got the rudder on the back of these fire, but we just opted not to. Oh! Not to. Uh oh, I'm turning. I'm going backwards. Keep on going backwards. Going backwards. There we go. It's time to turn it around. I got stuck on a rocket. Uh, that weren't cool. Turn the power through some of this. No. And I'm enjoying it going sideways. Much rather. This way. Time to grab the bottom. <laughs> Shimmy! I'm too fat! <laughs> Here we go, baby! <laughs> Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> I got turned around a couple times. I was like, no! no. No, 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 dude. No, that was, there was like no beef whatsoever. No, that's just all skin. That's all salad. Woo! Sweet. It's okay. I almost got stuck like a hundred times. Yeah. That's okay. Worst case scenario, we step out. Uh oh. Huh? Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Yep. We're fixing to get nailed, bro. Are we actually? Yep. How hard? Red. Red? So we're gonna, let's go to that beach right there and let's skirt up. I'm not worried about us, let's just skirt up. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming a little more north than I thought it was going to. If it starts getting bad, we'll pull off. We'll get off the river. Like, we'll just, we'll, we'll wait it out. Caleb and I are fitting a skirt up because, um, well, Elsa's coming. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize it. I didn't think she was gonna get here, but she's, let me see if I can, let me see if I can pull it up for you folk. Let me show it to you. Radar. And it's coming. We're obviously the blue dot. I don't know if you can see that or not. But all that red and stuff is coming north. That's not cool. Mm -hmm. see it. And then hook it over that way. You can zip like this. But you want to be careful when you get in your boat. Because it's kind of annoying on the boat. Okay. We'll fold it so it's tight against that side. See how this turns out. Oh, I don't know if they're going extinct. Wait, did I do that on video? No. Okay. He's sitting on that tree with his wings out. Hmm? He's sitting on that limb with his wings open. Oh, I see that. That's so cool. So we're five miles in, and the question remains, like, what's going to happen? Is it going to dump, dump on us? Or is it going to dump, dump on us? We're skirted up, though, so that's going to help, and it gets too crazy. We'll pull off on the side and see what's up. See what's going on. See if we can hunker down a little bit. There's some wind picking up. Yeah, that's windy. Yeah, that's picking up. Hey guys, so we, Caleb and I, have stopped off on a just a nice little uh, side beach here. Um, that's one good thing about the water level being down is that the uh, there's been several of these rock beaches everywhere. And we just checked the weather forecast again and. Uh, it's still heading to us. The, the, the AccuWeather says that uh, should start doing heavy rain in about 46 minutes. So uh, we skirted up again. We're kind of somewhat prepared for it. Um, I think the really the uh, only concern would be a lot of winds and stuff. Three. Barely. Whoa. Paddle's trying to get away from me. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't think it was gonna, oh, there's some leaves all over the place. There's some what? Leaves all over the place. Leaves. <laughs> Why are we running onto the river when it's supposed to be? There it is. Look at the rain. This is your idea, not mine. Look back there, you can see it coming. Oh my god. <laughs> She's oh. coming, baby. We need to go. Well, it ain't gonna make a difference. Sitting here on the river, it's getting us. No difference. Let's get some, baby. Woohoo! Here we go. Just me and my buddy Elsa. Woo! This thing the rain river. Oh. 
This rain jacket on. How long, how long is it supposed to last? I don't know. I don't know, my friend. He said it dumped there like 30 minutes, so. Bye, Caleb. Probably not the best line. Ooh. Ooh. Might want to get some speed. <laughs> I think it's gonna bounce. I think it's gonna be rocky. Oh, this may not have been the best line. Woo creaking it, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Caleb. There he goes, going backers, like a boss. <laughs> Atta boy, turn it around. There you go. Nice. Good job, bro. Good job. Nice job, man. You got it. You got it. You got it. Woo! I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera, but there's this train tunnel up there. See that mountain? That's cool. You, you kind of want to go in there, but sure as well to get halfway in there, that train goes. You're know, like trying to run out the other side or back. Right, he lives going right, and I'm gonna go left. See what we come up with. He wants that little bit of solo adventure. A couple small islands. We're gonna ripple past. Woo! Making heat, baby. Loose. Oh, I expect to see Caleb poking out anytime. Come over there. Anytime, Caleb? The brownie? Alright. Let's go see. Yep. <laughs> Oh, it looks like he's getting it going. Looks like he's getting it going. Woo! Oh, oh. Talking about freedom. Look at him go, baby. Look at him go. All right. That's some speed up, baby. That's some speed up. He gonna go down that side? I'm going down this side. Boy, I guess. I think the water's over here on the edge. So that's where we're going. And hopefully he uh, picks a different 
set of lines. Sometimes you just can't help it though. Yeah. We get the fun pot. All right, everything looks fairly good, fairly clear. Oh, holy. Oh, Couple stop spots, that's all right. Don't get put into the trees. Just get it, baby, get it. Whew, yay. <laughs> We're just making it over some of them. All right, Caleb, you coming up the right side. Yeah, is he, he coming up the right Caleb? 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 Okay. Okay. Caleb, over here anywhere? Buddy? Um, Caleb? Bro? Oh, way up there. Whoa, what are you doing up there? This Eddie sucks. Here he comes. There he goes. I just give him a hand signal to go far wide and then angle back. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, man, nice job. Nice. The worst thing of my life. <laughs> you know how shallow it was? I'm assuming pretty shallow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I guess the, the left side was the better side. I had a great run over there, bro. It kind of came and, and it forced you out and it kind of curled under a tree, like a, a safe tree. It yeah, was beautiful. Well, next time you can have the right side. <laughs> Woo! So Elsa wasn't the monster we thought she was, but she would show up again later. But that was okay. For now, we were just gonna enjoy some more rapids. So the rain's been going on for a little bit, and uh, I don't really know how long, 20, 30 minutes, and it's not bad. I mean, it's just coming down steady, but I was thinking we were going to get stormed on because it was red. Because um, it was red on that map, so, on that radar. Uh, but so far, it's not bad. It's just one of those kind of relaxing rains uh, that you get to enjoy when you're on the river. Caleb's having, Caleb's having a good time with it. I'm having a good time with it. Mm -hmm. Cause no issue, so I'm good with it. It's awesome looking. All the way up there. 
So we just crossed mile 11, or the 11th mile marker. Uh, that's the little mile signs that the Twin River Outfitter puts up. And, um, I don't know if that's helping or hurting. Anyways, uh, so our plan is to look for this boat ramp, which we'll pull up to, not on the concrete, of course. And uh, there's supposed to be a convenience store real close by. So Caleb's gonna take my card and run up to that convenience store get us some uh, something cold to drink and uh he'll come on back to the boats i'll stand guard on the boats he'll come back to the boats and then we'll float on down to campsite or to our glamp site and uh enjoy the rest of the evening so i think it sounds like a good plan and and check it looked like it had like a, maybe a ramp down the water but this couldn't be the boat access with this shallow of water Surely not. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's a bit deep enough right there. And it's a boat ramp. This is probably it, Caleb. Um, put your nose right in there. The concrete just eats these boats apart, man. So, um. All right, so I'm at the boat put in, a little ramp here. And, uh, I... I'm not sure they can put any boats in here today. It's a little shallow, maybe a little John boat. But um, anyways, we made it here. As you can see, the rain has let up. Uh, that band must have uh, passed us on by when I looked back at the phone and stuff. And there's still some underneath us, but it does seem like it's curling a little bit more north northeast from where we are. But I sent Caleb up to a convenience store, which said it was a six minute walk from here. Uh, grab us a couple cold drinks. And if maybe they got some hot pizza there, maybe we'll snag some of that too. So see that it worked. That's okay. It's hard, it's hard to tell half the time. What did you get in there? It looks like a bag full of something. Yeah, there's some stuff in there. I like them. So. Good. Well, let's throw it in the boats and get to camp. Okay. So it's time for us to head out of the uh, little boat ramp area here. Caleb grabbed us some goods. So we're going to head out here to uh, camp. Well, it shouldn't be, but hop, skip, and a jump. And we'll be there. So we have like a, another little class one we gotta do. Mm -hmm. So we probably have a little class one and then we do the camp. Class one, what's that? Yeah, class one. What do you think about that? You ready for that? What's class one? A small little rapid. Uh, oh yeah. 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 That's cheap. So now that we're at camp, what do you think, man? You like it? Yes. S scale of yeah. one to 10, I mean, as far as the whole day. So far? Yeah. Pretty nice. Give it mm, a 9.5. 9.5. There you the go. Inconvenience is my nail breaking. I'm gonna edit that out. Hmm? I'm gonna edit that out. Okay. It's a little girly. <laughs> okay. So Caleb and I were walking around and we found Lucky Camp number 13 clamping site. So has a little bit of wood over here behind Caleb. Of course, a little wood ring, your, your picnic table, stuff like that, but this is what the old inside looks like for those of you who haven't seen. So they did have bed type things and they kind of upgraded, I guess, to these cots. So been this the summer, you know, we'll probably be all right tonight um, as far as um, still being somewhat um, insulated, I guess we'll find out, but got some screened in uh, windows, I guess you'd call it. And um, kind of a neat little thing. Doesn't feel too bad in here today, or right now. It's too about two o'clock and stuff, but. And then the temperature's gonna drop. It's got this neat little gravel you can walk on, so that's kind of cool. So we're gonna see if we can't go get the boat and how far it's gonna be to get him here. I think it's gonna be a distance. I really don't wanna leave him down here <laughs> at all. He's just a little guy. Nice. So it's three o'clock and I'm out here doing some camp chores. Kind of got us some, uh, got us some wood uh, set up and ready to go in case we do a fire tonight. And, um, you know, just trying to do some chores and stuff and let's see what Caleb's doing while I'm doing chores. Oh, huh. I suppose he's testing out the structural integrity 
-hmm. of the glamping cots. Now, interesting to know, he is in what they call a single cot. These up top here are actually uh, wide. So I told him I would take that because I'm wide. You can kind of see we got our fans set up here. We kind of clamp right to the end, which is pretty cool. I was wondering how we're going to attach it. And then he's got one going on down here. How's that feel on you, Caleb? Make Feels a good. difference? Mm -hmm. Now, right now it's just on low, but it, has, it, it moves enough air to kind of at least take the edge off of some yeah. of the warmth and stuff like that. But um, on low, that thing will run a long, long time. Of course, it's got four speeds on that one. This top one has three speeds, but they'll run a pretty good uh, amount of time just on the battery they have. And uh, also, we brought uh, some battery banks and you can plug them directly into the back of those and keep them going as well. So we got tonight to use them, tomorrow to use them. We got plenty of battery power for that. And we have a little bit of battery power for the camera batteries. And then phones if we need it. So we should be in good shape. But uh, kind of neat in here. Uh, we found a couple, you know, uh, larger uh, larger than needed to be bugs. But that's okay. Um, we kind of screwed them out a little bit. But uh, so think about if you're glamping here, you're also going to be uh, in these... And these little tent things, you're also going to have um, uh, some bunk mates in here, smaller bunk mates. But anyway, so keep that in mind. Um, it's not a bad area here. It's pretty grown up around here. Um, if you can kind of see behind me, it's pretty thick, pretty thick all around here. So there's there's a little bit of bugs. Actually, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I do have bug nets for our head um, if we felt like it was just ridiculous. So, um, feels pretty good out. It's supposed to get, like I said, in the upper 60s tonight. So, um, we don't even have anything to insulate under these cots. I mean, we do. We actually upgraded tonight to this one. And if we ended up needing insulation, I will figure out a way to hang our uh, underquilt underneath this cot and kind of spread it out a little bit and that'll add to it. But honestly, upper 60s and then in here is probably going to hold in um, some heat. I don't, I don't foresee us having any issues. I'll let you know tomorrow, but. <laughs> All right, we are inside the tent and what you're looking at right there is the windows. So it's pretty, I mean, it's still light outside. What do you say, Caleb? Yeah. But uh, in here, it's quite dark. So what time do we got, Caleb? What, about eight o'clock, my friend? Probably about right. 7.55. Mm -hmm. And Caleb has um, decided to, at 7.55, to 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 close up shop, my friends. So if you were looking to hang out with us and party, sorry, store's closed. Not gonna happen. Caleb, what do you think about these fans? Do you think it's worth think the thirty bucks tonight? Oh, for sure. For sure, he does. For sure. Good morning on day two. <clears throat> Caleb and I are up early. We woke up about six o'clock. Both of us slept decently, although it did get a little bit. Uh, chilly in there and once we just put lay down a little blanket underneath us um, to kind of block the wind from being pulled underneath those cots we did pretty good so um, I did have some encounter with some bugs last night on my face and underneath my blanket stuff I had to shoe off but uh, other than that it was is it was fine so we're uh, getting started this morning with um, a little bit of coffee of course actually we're gonna do some cappuccinos so just some store-bought store-bought Folgers cappuccinos so we're gonna do that we're gonna pack up and we are shooting for 25 miles today so um, we think we can get that done by five so that's our goal is to get on the river as quick as possible but it's a nice morning I mean it's about 70 degrees so it's perfect temperature uh, we're just loading up on water uh, burning the last bit of any any trash that we have um, and we'll be good to go so we're gonna enjoy some of this that's boiling over and that's it. Wow. Ooh, don't bring so out. There we go. Mm, that's why you're not supposed to fill it up that high. But I did. All right, everybody. Uh, this is day two. We got everything packed up. We're going to make some miles today. So we are just fixing to push off on the water. Caleb's already out there doing his thing. Doing a good job kind of sitting in the current. So we're going to blow out of here. Get some miles in. I'm not sure where I put my paddling gloves, brother. 
What? My paddling gloves? Oh, yeah. You think so? I just look down. Good. That's good. Oh, it's on that side. Oh, yeah. Let him go, baby. Woo! Here we go. This is good. Uh huh. Wee ha! <laughs> Yeah, baby. What world is that ledge for sticking off of that bridge right here? What? What? Bo seal launch? No. Gorgeous looking though. Reminds me of the New River. That is cool. Straighten out a little bit, There you go. Atta boy. Look at you, look at you. Dude, make it happen, baby. Ah, keep it loosey goosey. Caleb's holding his phone by his teeth over the water. That was cool. I didn't I didn't get it all. So but he says his phone is waterproof up to a certain amount of time, so I couldn't get him to test that. So he's running over his uh PFD showing it some love. <laughs> Showing how he how he takes care of his equipment. <laughs> it's it's great. <laughs> oh man, no, we're having a good t we're having a real good time, and uh, get a little get a little energy in us. Let our arms relax. We've been pedaling pretty paddling. Let my tailbone relax. How, your tailbone hurt? Yeah. Oh man. You want some eye view? Yeah. Yeah. It's time to go go nurse on this boy. <laughs> right. Okay, they're still stuck. <laughs> I was looking, I was like, man, that's a really cool one that goes off to the left, but you were already going right. And I was like, I better go with him. And then you said, you said, oh, it's shallow. I was like, never mind. I was like, I'm going left. Sing it for us, man. Mm -hmm. Sing it for us. Mm -mm. Crazy. Jet. It's crazy. So cool. 